Why a rye? Is it worth it? Am I ready to pay over $580 and up? What am I paying for and where is that money going? You ready for the answer? Hey guys, sorry it's been like a long time, like I think over a month since I posted a video, but I had a little like a life-changing family emergency and um, you know, everything is fine now, but you know, I apologize it's taken so long, but I am back. For all of you who have subscribed, thank you so much for being patient with me. I really do appreciate it. And, uh, you know, let's, 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 let's move on. Hey guys, it's Mel, apparel and gear expert here in New York City. So is an Arai helmet the right helmet for you? Is it really worth it? Are you ready to spend that kind of money? I say it's worth it. It's a helmet with style, comfort, and amazing protection. And for me, the Arai helmet is one game changer. So I'm about to give a ton of information. So if you want, check out the description for timestamps. That way you can fast forward to a section that pertains to your questions. So what is Arai all about? Well, let me give you some general info. Arai's founder, Hirotaki Arai, was originally a hat maker and a hardcore motorcycle enthusiast. Back in the 1950s, when Mr. Arai was a young man riding his motorcycle, there was no helmet manufacturers in Japan. Knowing the risks of riding motorcycles firsthand. Mr. Arai knew he wanted a good helmet for his own protection. Their manufacturing process and machines were independently designed more than 40 years ago. Their mission has always been the protection and comfort of every person who chooses an Arai helmet. So before we go on and where I talk about all the different like tons of different types of Arai helmets, let me tell you and show you what helmet I own. I actually own two Arai helmets. I have the older Defiant and the new Defiant X. When I say new, unfortunately they don't make the Defiant X or the Defiant. But what I like about the Defiant X is that uh, it has that kind of retro look-ish, you know? Uh, it, it looks good with my, with my night shift when I'm riding around here in New York City. So the other Arai helmet which I own, which is the older version of the Defiant X, is the Defiant. It's basically the same thing as the uh, Defiant X except the airflow is, is exposed like in the front. There's like these three or four vents and you can actually open and close from the front, not internal. Because that's annoying. I use both helmets and I absolutely love them. So why did I choose an Arai Defiant or Defiant X? Well, simply put it, I like the retro look. I like the amount of airflow that I'm getting. And I like just the quality and how comfortable the helmet is. In addition, I've owned both helmets probably like five years. Ugh. I guess it's time to get a new helmet. I paid for my own Arai helmets themselves. Arai hasn't sent me any free stuff. Maybe one day they will. But I have, because of my work, since I'm an apparel and gear expert at a store in New York City, I have personally tried on, messed with, played with, rode around with all these helmets. So I have firsthand experience. I just wish I could show them all to you. It's just I don't, I don't got room to show them. That's why I'm showing you the, the pictures and videos. But enough of the old Arai helmets. Let's talk about the new ones. So one of the first steps when choosing an Arai helmet is figuring out what is your head shape. With Arai helmets, they have three main head shapes. Intermediate oval, round oval, and long oval. For me, I am a intermediate oval. I don't know if you can tell by looking at the top of my head. So in terms of figuring out like what kind of head shape you are, well, let me use my hands here. I know it's gonna be a little weird. So an intermediate oval would be something like this. Let me see, I have to look there. Yeah, there you go. That would be more of an intermediate oval where it's basically a little bit longer um, on the front, a little bit longer on the back, and then a little bit narrow on the sides. The next shape, let me bring up my hands again. I feel like I'm throwing gang signs out. The next shape was gonna be a long oval. Let's call a long oval more like narrower to the left and right, and a little bit more space front and back. And then finally, you have the round oval. So basically, with a round oval, it's a little bit more even, almost basically, it's round, like this, this mirror back there. Look at that, that's a good example. So one tip, if you're trying to figure out your head shape, take your phone, set it above your head, and take a picture. This will give you, you know, a, a general idea of what your head shape is. So the next step would be figuring out what type of riding style you'll be doing. So all of these helmets actually offer different purposes and offer different uh, functions depending on what kind of style you'll be doing. So now I'm gonna group these by, by kind of riding style. So let me list the ones that are gonna be more street use. Those would be your Region X, your Contour X, your Corsair X, your Corsair X RC, which is the carbon one, 
your Quantum X, and your Signet X. Now the next grouping, we'll call it kind of like uh, sport touring or adventure riding. And those helmets would be the XD4 and the VX Pro. And then finally, the third kind of like category, I, I would call basically the three quarter category. And those would be your Classic V and the Ram X. So now I'm gonna quickly go over like what each of the Arai helmets, you know, has. Uh, and what you're paying for. Now with the Region X, it starts at $579.95. You're still getting the dual airflow. You're getting your brow airflow. You're getting the mouth um, intake airflow. And it's essentially their, like, their starting base model. Still a fantastic helmet. Still DOT approved if you're here in the States and Snell approved. Next in Arise lineup in terms of price point, I'd say, is the Contour X. Now the Contour X is the newest helmet that has come out from Arai. And the uh, Contour X's price point, starting with just a standard, like let's say Frostback color, $749.95. Now with the Contour X, you are getting the same similar air, dual airflow, but there's something a little different. There is a, actually a third airflow. It's, it's right in the center where the Arai logo is. There's like a little, uh, like a slit that you can move up and down to add additional third airflow intake. Still comes with the brow airflow, and still comes with the, the mouth airflow intake. It has the same style of exhaust in the back. One thing in addition to the new Contour X, it does have an aerodynamic rear spoiler with one piece exhaust function. So with the Contour X, if, if you wanted to get a helmet that looked a little bit more aggressive, get the Contour X. And I will say it's probably the most comfortable one. When I, when I tried one on, it, it literally felt like a pillow. Like all the other rides are very comfortable, but that one I was just like, wow. I could sleep in this. And then next in the lineup, you're gonna have the Corsair X. So with a standard frost black Corsair X, you're looking at around $879.95. Now the Corsair X is considered basically the top of the line, like main track helmet for Arai. The Arai Corsair X is gonna have the same, you know, cool features in terms of brow flow, mouth intake in the front, exhaust in the back. But the biggest difference this time, it does have a third intake in the middle on the top of the helmet next to the other two. Good things come in three, you know. In addition, kind of similar to the Contour X, the Corsair X does have a rear wind adjustable spoiler that you can adjust up and down. Okay, now I'm gonna go, it's gonna seem a little odd, but now I'm gonna go to the Signet X. Signet X goes for $719.95. Now your Signet X is probably next in line in terms of price point from the Region X, which is an intermediate oval. But the biggest difference with the Signet X, it's made for long oval head shaped people like this. I can't do it, kind of, kind of like this. So you're getting all of the great same features uh, that you're finding with the Region X and the Contour X and basically almost all the uh, full face helmets for Arai. Dual intake on the top, brow intakes, and of course the mouth intake, and similar exhaust, outtake. Is that the word? Outtake? Now, the reason for the price increase, uh, honestly, I think it's because there's not as many um, long oval head shapes out there, so because they're not able to you know, sell as many, they, they, gotta, they gotta boost up the price for you long oval head shape people. Nothing against that. Next up, you have the Quantum X. The Quantum X for a frost black, which is the matte black, also like the Signet X, goes for $719.95. Essentially the same kind of things that are going on with the Signet X um, in terms of like, you're still getting all the Arai features, but this is made for the round oval types, like that, that circle behind me. Wait, can you see? Circle, more, that, that, more like that. And once again, the reason for the price increase, it's. There's, they're not selling as many round oval head shapes, at least here in the States. So that, that's the only reason why. So not, nothing against round oval head shape people, okay? You guys are good. You're just as beautiful as all the rest of us. Okay, next up, you're gonna have the XD4 in terms of another full face helmet. This one for frost black um, goes for about $649.95. Um, honestly, I love this helmet. Like, I think it's a fantastic city helmet. Um, it's gonna be a little bit different in terms of like the, you know, Regent X, Contour X, and what have you. Still gonna have the dual airflow intake on the top. Still gonna get the brow intake. Still gonna get your mouth intake. Still gonna get the same exhaust outtakes on the back. Outtakes? I still don't know. But what I like about it, what you're actually getting, and it's actually cheaper than the Signet X and 
and the Quantum X is that you're going to get the, uh, you know, the little sun visor thing here, which is actually removable. In addition, the visor itself is a, has a huge wide field of vision. So I've had some guys like, man, I'm going to, I'm going to take down the track, you know, so I can, my head checks are, are going to be quicker or not as big. So I, I don't know. I'd, I'd love to see it. I'd love to see someone running around the track with that. That'd be kind of cool. In terms of air intake on the mouth, it's, it's huge, you know? Um, so that's, that's fantastic for like adventure tours. Um, and that is also adjustable in terms of, you know, opening and closing. So, you know, big, like a big mouth. Ah. One thing I will say though, like uh, with, with most Arai helmets, it's fairly easy to remove the visor. But with the XD4, it's, it's, it, it, it takes some time. It's not like a on the fly kind of thing. So, you know, get, get a quarter out. That's what I use to unscrew the, the thingies. Come to the store I work and I'll, I'll change it for you or find someone else to do it or, or check out a YouTube video. But it's, it's not fun. But it does look cool without the, uh, you know, sun visor thing. Looks pretty aggressive. I like it. I like it a lot. Next up in terms of Arise full face helmets, in terms of like the higher, higher end, let's talk about the Corsair X RC. That's the carbon fiber one. So for 2023, there's only one color style for it um, and one pattern. And that goes for the, the low, low price of $4,000. $95.95. That's it's like a motorcycle. So it, it, it's kind of a lot. If you can afford it, I say, I say go for it. Um, that's, that's something I probably, I probably wouldn't be purchasing anytime soon just because it's maybe overkill. So what are the advantages with a carbon helmet, you know, besides, you know, lightening your wallet? Well, it, the helmet itself is going to be lighter, you know, with carbon fiber helmets, you do have a, uh, you know, a stronger shell, you lose weight in grams, but there is a little downside. Almost all carbon fiber helmets, will be louder. A lot of that has to do with how the, when the wind is, is hitting the shell itself, carbon seems to do a little, you know, do a little like dance, miniature dance, and it, it gets loud. So just keep that in mind. But if you're on the track, and especially if you're sponsored and you have earplugs, yeah, you're fine. Don't worry about it. Drop that, you know, four grand. Make, make that money rain at the dealerships or wherever you buy the, the helmet. And of course it has all the same, you know, airflow, intake outtake features as as the other arise i mean better for that price point now let's talk about the more off-road helmet the vx pro 4 that's what it's called nowadays in 2023 now a vx pro 4 frost black color starts at 639.95 and yeah yeah it's a bit pricey but you know it is a cool helmet you're getting all the cool awry you know pros now the biggest difference with a vx pro 4 is that it doesn't come with any sort of like a shield or visor. So you do have to purchase some cool goggles for that. But what it does have, it's still gonna have the same comfort, but it has a more exaggerated um, chin curtain or mouth curtain. Um, that's just to give you more, uh, you know, airflow, breathability. So, you know, it's really nice. In addition, the, uh, the sun visor thing is gonna be a little bit further out. So it's gonna be a bit more exaggerated. So this is mostly for you off-roaders out there, but I've, I've seen people running around the city with these too, you know, why not? This is dirty. You need airflow. It gets hot. It's cool with goggles. So why not? Do it. Now let's talk about the three-quarter Classic V by Arai. Now for the Classic V, for a frost black, it starts at $489.95. Yeah, I know that's pricey for a, a three-quarter helmet. But what are you getting with that? So you are actually getting airflow. So most three-quarter helmets that are out there, like the, the Bill Old Bonanza, the Custom 500, they don't really have any airflow options. You put it on, the only airflow you're getting is, you know, right in your face. But with the Classic V, they have hidden, like, air intakes in the front and exhaust in the back. And it still has that little uh, open airflow in the back to create that Venturi effect to pull, pull that hot air out. So, so that's where your money's going. So, like, anytime any extra engineering goes into a helmet, that's, that's what boosts up the price for these helmets. So that's, that's where your money's going. In addition, don't forget, you still have to buy a visor for this helmet or goggles. And finally, you have the Ram X. Now, for a Frost Black Ram X, it starts at $709.95. Yes, I know, that's a lot for an open face helmet, but you get, you get some cool features with it. You get a visor with the Pro Shield, and the Pro Shield is basically that little sun thing I was talking about earlier, you know, it's addition, it looks cool. And you get adjustable airflow intakes on the top. So that's pretty cool. You get two of them too. In addition, you also get the, uh, you know, the same exhaust features, the Venturi effect comes along with the, uh, with the Ram X. I think it's a, it's a pretty cool looking helmet. It reminds me of that movie Minority Report. So if you were a, like a cosplay player and needed a cool looking helmet, get this, uh, you know, Ram X. So in regards to the airflow with all of our helmets, um, there used to be an Arai helmet from a few years back called the DTX, 
Um, it was at a better price point, but it also only had a single airflow intake in the front. Um, Nowadays, in 2023, all Arai helmets, um, except for the Classic V, I got to double check, and I think the VX Pro, um, all of them will have dual intake, but the Corsair X is going to have three intakes. So it'd be like this, one, two, and three. It would be one right there. I don't have one in, in hand, so I want you to use your imagination. So one thing I will mention about all Arai full face helmets they have this really cool feature. These two little like exhaust ports here. I don't know if you can see that right there. Those exhaust ports always remain open. So essentially what these two like exhaust ports do as you move forward, they're creating what's called like a Venturi effect. And what that essentially does is it's pulling the hot air out as you move forward. So that's, that's good. Nothing like pulling hot air out of this hole. So one other thing I want to mention is that all Arai helmets, except for the VX Pro, the Classic V, and the Ram X. Besides those, all Arai helmets are gonna be DOT approved and Snell approved. So, all those other ones, you can take them to the track, even the XD4, which looks pretty cool. Pretty cool, I think, while you're racing around with a little brim. Now, in regards to colors with all Arai helmets, um, they do come with their basic black, the basic gloss black, and their basic like kind of gloss white. Beyond that, the different color schemes change from year to year in terms of your options. You know, some will be special, some will be one-time, one-hit wonders, one-time wonders, one-hit wonders, um, and others will be, you know, some that they probably continue from year to year, but just changing up the colors and designs a bit. On a special note, just keep in mind when you are shopping for uh, an Arai helmet, especially if you're looking for a matte black, with Arai, they don't call it a matte black. When you look online, it's going to say frost black. So when you see frost black, know that that is matte black. And then you have your standard gloss black, and then the other white is, is a uh, like a gloss white. Every now and then they'll also carry like a, a, a what they call frost gray, which is basically a matte gray. And another thing to note for all you like international people who are watching my videos, you know, from outside the United States, keep in mind that Arise helmets, the way they name them, is different from country to country. So um, what's called a Corsair X here in the United States won't be called that in another country. Also keep in mind that there are different homologations for each country. So sometimes helmets will be offered specifically for like China, specifically for Japan, specifically for the United States, or specifically for Europe. And with that being said, some will only be ECE, some will only be DOT, and some may not even be Snell approved. So keep that in mind. And the reason I mentioned that is like, at the store where I work, we get a lot of uh, visitors, tourists from other countries who want to purchase the helmet here in the United States. The only problem is the sticker on the back, which is DOT, it's not going to say ECE. So I was like, hey, you, you just watch out. I don't want to see you on the news being chased on international news for wearing a non-approved helmet for your country. Another general thing I just want to say about all Arai helmets, if I haven't mentioned it enough, um, is that they are extremely comfortable. Um, they probably have the best liners out there. The liners are easily removable. They pop in, they pop out, which offers you the ability to actually hand wash them. So you should, you should, you should wash your your liners, you know, because those liners get a little rank, you know. Imagine not, imagine not washing your socks for a very long time or ever, and then putting it on and off. That's that's kind of gross. Another thing I want to show you guys with all Arai helmets, full face helmets, in terms of their visor. Um, this is gonna be a similar thing. So it's gonna be a little different in terms of um, closing and opening your, your visor. Here with my um, Defiant X, see if we can zoom in, see this visor right here? This is the latch, this is the locking mechanism right there. The way it works is this, let me see if you can see it. All right, see the visor there? You push up, that releases this, and then if you try to push it up, it's still like directly up, it's not gonna, it's not gonna open. So with the Rai helmets, the technique is to pull forward and up. So once again, forward and up. And then it locks in. But like I've also stated, especially if you're a city rider, honestly, I usually ride around New York City with it just literally cracked open a little like that. And that gives me more enough airflow and I don't have to worry about like fogging up. But there is a downside to that. If you do lift it up just a little, you're losing the capability to use the brow airflow. So because when this is locked down, it's making a clean connection with the, uh, let me show you clean connection with these things here, see? That's where the brow, brow airflow goes. So once it's down, there it goes through here, into that, into that vent, and then it can, you know, the helmet, a ride can do its job and 
the Arai engineering and magic works. But just do what's best for you. Now with Arai in terms of like visors, they're always gonna come with a clear visor obviously, but you have, you know, your, your light smoke options, you have your dark smoke options, you have your iridescent options, your iridium options, your mirror options. So there are a lot of cool options for those of you who want like a different cool looking visor. One more thing I didn't mention yet is that all Arai helmets, whether it be, you know, the full face, open face, adventure tour helmets, whatever, um, they easily accommodate comms. Now, whether it's a Senna, Cardo, or whatever else you have, it easily will take the speakers. Now with most helmets, they actually have uh, like a little, uh, they take out, they make a space in the EPS foam, not with the rise. So where you place the speakers with the rye helmets, you actually place it into the cheek pads. The cheek pads themselves are uh, have the integrated space for uh, the ear, the, the earbuds, for the the speakers. So it easily accommodates them, and they're really easy to install. I mean, maybe I'm saying that because I've installed like 500 Bluetooths and helmets, so it, maybe maybe it's easier me saying it, but you, you, you'll you'll figure it out. Or come to the store or another store, and they'll install it for you. So another thing I'm gonna say about Arise, like sometimes a lot of customers are trying to compare Arise versus Shoei's. Both Japanese companies, both handmade shells. Um, the biggest difference is this. With Shoei, they're known for being very quiet helmets and with good airflow. On the other hand, Arise are known for having fantastic airflow, but being not as quiet as, as Shoei's. And, and a big reason for that is because all that additional airflow is gonna make the helmet a little louder. I mean, what are you gonna do? Give and take, give give take you know you got to give and take that's just that's that's life man so overall where's your money going when you purchase an Arai helmet you're getting great airflow you're getting fantastic liner very comfortable helmets like really comfortable like mine that i've had five years is still comfortable i sometimes sleep in it on the airplane kidding easy to install uh, bluetooth comms the speakers and you get some really amazing visors which have brow airflow, except for the, well, except for the, the open face ones because there's, there's no brow airflow. Well, actually, no, that's not true. There's brow airflow for the Ram X. I forgot, sorry. So what is the biggest difference with all these Arai helmets? It's basically airflow and it's not that big of a difference. Uh, basically, almost all the Arai helmets have like dual or two air intakes, but every now and then you'll, you'll, you'll get some that have a third one, you know, right here in the middle. The Corsair X and the Contour X. And then, you know, the others have different airflow because they're open face. So like you're getting airflow here. Some have hidden airflow in the, the top and back, but that's really honestly the, the biggest difference. And then another difference is obviously the riding style. You know, it's either full face, it's either three quarter open face, or it's either sport touring or off-road helmets. But beyond that, yeah, they're, they're essentially all the same. They all have the great liner, being very comfortable. They have a visor, fantastic visors. They take comms, Bluetooth speakers, no problems. And they're all handmade shells in Japan. I mean, honestly, each, each of the, the guys, they inspect them over and over individually and they even sign their little signature. You can't see it because, you know, but it's inside unless you tear apart the helmet, but yeah, they, they do that. And please don't be afraid to reach out to me. I've had a lot of people who have uh, like specific questions about riding gear or having riding tips. I answer them all. You can message me, you can leave a comment, I'm here. I love giving information and, and info and, and tips to any new riders or current riders. So I'm, I'm more more than open and welcome to, to help you out. And don't forget to tell your friends, you know? Let's let's spread that that knowledge out of, you know, Cafe Racer in New York City and what, what I can bring to you. And if you like this video, don't forget to check out my other videos, which I give other product reviews, which I give, you know, tips about riding in New York City or just riding in general. So I'm Filipino, just in case you were wondering. And in Filipino, the phrase awry means ouch. I just, I just find that kind of funny. Awry helmets, ouch. A little, you know, a little fun humor for those of you who speak Filipino or understand Filipino. And if not, you just learn something new. Awry. But I still like the helmet. I still love the helmets. It's still my main helmet. I love awry helmets. I love ouch helmets. Oh, and here's a little fun little thing. I actually met uh, one of my subscribers at, at work. So that was kind of cool. So here's a shout out to you. And once again, like I always do, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'm not sure where I'll put the uh, you know, little boxes for you to choose. Thank you again, guys. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you, watch you, or you'll watch me next time.